crafting and talking show, Craft Versations, where this month our guest is the very funny, the very smart, the very intelligent, the very lovely Taylor Brogan, who you may remember as the writer of many things, including Frankenstein MD and my very own short film Spore. Yay! Thanks for being here, Taylor. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to have you and talk to you. Have you? So excited to have you here. <laughs> so excited to be had. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and today we are going to be making beautiful glitter vases. So if you want to craft along with us at home, here's what you'll need. You will need some lovely glass things. Menageries. <laughs> glass <laughs> menageries. It would be better to have things with like smooth sides and large openings because you're going to be painting inside of them. And you'll need some glitter. Loose glitter. Mm. Loose. Morally questionable. <laughs> Morally questionable <laughs> glitter. And you will need some Mod Podge. I wanted to call it Mod Podge, but that's not that's correct. that's what people say. That's that, what people though. say, right? Mm -hmm. Mod Podge. I've actually never worked with this before in my oh, life. Oh, so I was a Girl Scout, so I'm... Oh, you're all about it, you know. Okay, good. Some painter's tape and some of these foam brush thingies. In fact, here's one for you. Hmm. Great. Shall we begin? Mm-hmm. <laughs> let, <laughs> let us begin. I think we shall. <laughs> so select your thing. All right, I'm going to do this. It's from my university's pub night. Oh, that's awesome. And I was like, mm, I'll make it a memorable. Yeah. Memorable glitter. I love that. Thing. I don't know. Look at you bringing your own things. I love it. I think I will do this one maybe to start with that I have not yet taken off the price tag. <laughs> One million dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was very expensive. <laughs> so essentially you're just going to apply a thin layer of that either on the outside or the inside, whichever you prefer. I'm going to do the inside of this one. And I then I smelled it. <laughs> and then you'll just sort of roll your glitter around so it sticks and then let it dry essentially. Oh, and you'll want wax paper or some sort of something on your surface to catch the glitter. I chose wax paper because that's what I have. So Taylor. Yeah. I think uh, many of our viewers are a very curious about you. <laughs> what does she do? <laughs> Why do people talk to her? <laughs> no, uh, people know you as uh, the Brogan on Twitter, which is how I say your Twitter handle. In my, <laughs> in my All brain. right, well, MacWiles, <laughs> Mc, McWiles, McWiles, and Th Brogan. <laughs> So please tell us sort of your general jam and your story. You are a writer. Um, yes. <laughs> yeah. I always I always feel weird being like, I'm a writer. Because it's like, what do I... I yeah. just... I, yeah. But I don't know. I saw something on Tumblr, the ever wonderful Tumblr the other day, that was like, you're an artist when you call yourself one. You don't have to wait for anybody else to call you. Oh, that sounds like some real good Tumblr advice. <laughs> yes. But you're like a great artist when you really when you touch people. When yeah. you touch, reach out. And <laughs> when you touch people. Touch someone. Yes. Um, yeah. I, uh, I, I write. I dabble. Great. Good. I wrote. That is indeed what you came out here to do. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, I. So I. I. Um. I'm like. I'm a. I'm a child. I'm an infant. <laughs> or a very small baby. Um. <laughs> very small. I'm like a zygote. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's the best. We were actually having this. I have. I host a podcast about. Oh like, yes. It hasn't started yet, but we've started recording. You're gonna have to tell us all about that um, and promote it. And it's called Pursued by Bear, and it's just about Which like I think is hilarious. Breaking into the entertainment industry from two people who like don't know what the f they're doing, mm -hmm. what the expletive they're doing, mm -hmm. and we like do informational interviews. The other day, we made a joke about how like our audience are sperm or like unfertilized eggs, and we're like. <laughs> We're like fetuses. We're like on our way out the birth canal. <laughs> Just kidding. So, okay. So yeah. that's that's where great. And then and then I would I would consider you like a yeah. What am I in this scenario? I I would say like like bossy tween. <laughs> <laughs> I am a bossy tween. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Well, so, little zygote. <laughs> 
You are new to Los Angeles, yes. Yeah. How long have you been here? I've been here exactly a year. One year! One year. I was just noticing everybody in August is like, I've been here for X amount of years. August is the time to move here, I guess. Yeah, I got here here. I got here in July. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So 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 like a little bit ahead of the the trend. Yeah, yeah. And how are you finding it as a new I love it. Yeah? Yeah. Good. I I love it. it too. I don't understand people who don't like L.A. I don't either, and there are a lot of them. That's, okay, I was like, how am I gonna... Oh, well, yeah, I don't know. I just did it. No, this is a really good idea. Okay, great. I'm glad that you approve. Um, glue up. Um, (laughs) oh my god, I'm so, I'm just gonna be doing this the entire time. I want you to. Yeah, I, uh, I wrote on Frankenstein MD. Yeah. How um, did that come about, if you don't mind me asking? Well, it, let us go back even further, because yeah. I knew you before you even moved out here. Yeah. Because you sort of had seen Squaresville and LBD and sort of started being involved in that in some capacity, both of those. Yeah, I was an intern on Squaresville, and then I stuck it out a while and got, like, kind of promoted to, like, super intern. Yeah, I never really knew what to call you. Matt was like, you can be associate producer on Q and Hey. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that's what my title was. Um, and then I worked on Lizzie Bennett. I was the caption manager oh, during yes. the run of the show. Okay, great. Thank you for managing our caption. <laughs> <laughs> and then I worked on a bunch of other web shows because I was like, I know how to use Tumblr. So I would like do phone calls with people who like had web shows and like tell them how to use social media. Which other ones did you sort of work with? Um, I worked a lot with Shelfie with Hipsterhood. Yes. Okay. Um, and I worked on the show called Stockholm, which was like a yes. horror. Yeah. You know, Scott and uh, those Brittany. people. Yes. Yeah. I um, about and that. So then they did like this show called Destroy the Alpha Gammas. And I also helped them with that just in terms of like, how do we reach our audience? So I would sure. like talk to them about that because I guess I, I knew how that worked. So I just sort of. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like this. Oh, yeah. I just sort of poured in a lot. Of glitter, and now I'm just like moving it around to get it to stick. I think I'm gonna try to do um, layers. Oh yeah, this is great. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> I want to live inside of this cup. It Me. looks so cool. <laughs> it's just like hello. <laughs> it does look cool, doesn't it? Yeah, I love it. Okay, sorry, interrupted you because I was no. so excited about this. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. You're doing so great. I just want to, I just, I am in some <laughs> ways like unsure about your origins story. Oh, yeah. So I thought people might want to know. Um, oh. I moved to LA. Moved I to got LA. a job as an intern at a place called Circle of Confusion. Oh, yeah. They do literary management and production, which if you at all want to know what that is, it means that they um help a bunch of writers and directors with their careers and also produce movies like American Ultra. Oh, um, okay. So that's where I worked for a while. It was great. Cool. And then I was a temp at the Academy like of like the Oscars. Oh. Um I don't know if I knew that. Yeah. Mm. I I did like web things for them uh-huh. for a while which was cool it allowed me to be unemployed for a while uh-huh. after that that's really cool I wrote on frankenstein yeah how was writing on frankenstein it was how great did you get how did you get hooked up with that gig um well i i emailed when they were like we're doing frankenstein there was like a press release i was like oh yo I oh want, yo oh yo i love frankenstein yeah. i want to write on that show and then i didn't get the job and then one of the other writers had to like quit to go write on a real fancy tv show oh. so then i was like <laughs> <laughs> you were like Hello. i'm here <laughs> can't get rid of me <laughs> so yeah so emailing people and being like hey i want to do this even if they say no sometimes they might have to say yes it turns out it works sometimes yeah so i really recommend emailing people if you want to if you want to do what i do i do think People often maybe miss out on opportunities because they just don't realize that you just sometimes got to ask and, like, put yourself out there. And at least, you know, the worst that can happen is no when you're going to get no's many times in your life. Mm -hmm. So might as well well. start getting no's. Yeah. And sometimes there'll be yeses. Make people yes you. So you just wrote, like, a couple episodes on Frankenstein, right? 
Yeah, I wrote three episodes on that. Um, it was really cool. I mean, I was a staff writer on the show, which means that, like, I didn't really decide any big um, story-breaking things. I mm-hmm. was just kind of in the room. Um, I was, like I said, like, zygote in a room full of, like, <laughs> full-grown 20-somethings. So I had no clue what I was doing, but they were like, write this. And then I wrote it, and I gave it to them. And they were like, good. And then they edited a bunch (laughs) and filmed it. And then for my next two episodes, I was like, oh, okay, so they want that. And then I changed my game a little bit, Mm -hmm. and they edited it less, which was cool. Mm -hmm. Um, And that was my entire Frankenstein MD experience. There you go. It was cool. I got to, like, be on set and sit in Video Village and be like, oh, this is how the set works. Yeah. That sounds Um, like it was, like, a good... Very educational yeah. experience, and I met a lot of great people. Congratulations to you on that. Yeah, and by some fluke, I am now in the Writers Guild for... Oh, you are? Yeah, for, like, that show. Yeah, you are. Which is awesome. Um, so I basically have been mooching on all of their events this year. Hey, and that's dudes, my... girl. Like yeah. the rest of us. Yay. No, that's rad. The Writers Guild has really cool events. SAG probably does, too. I just never go to them. Sorry, oh. SAG. <laughs> You're still getting my money. And protecting me. Union. Protect your <laughs> Protect your people. And then I approached you, hmm, when was it? Like September last year? Yeah, yeah. And was like, yo. Yo. <laughs> will you write me something, please? <laughs> and you were like, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> so thanks for saying yes to that. Um, yeah, no, when you, I think you texted me. You were like, hey, would you want to write something for my channel? And I was like, uh, yeah. You were, uh, yeah. You were very nice. That was my, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. You were uh, far more gung-ho than I expected, because I, I don't know, I just, like, thought asking people, I don't know, well, I mean, we worked on it together, it wasn't just, like, it was collaborative, but I just didn't think anybody would, like, want to do that. Yeah, but it's, like, I mean, not, you know, this is not a message to my future potential employers, but, like, especially with web stuff, I just want to make things, and, like, I don't, like, I will put my own money into making something, and that's more important to me than, like anything else. Well, I am glad that you were down, and I am quite happy with the result, and we all did it together, and you also were a producer on that. <laughs> that looks <laughs> so good! It's so terrible. <laughs> it not a like, craft for the uncrafty. Actually, it no. It looks like a nebula. I think, yeah, I think it'll be, like, really Tumblr and cool once the white stuff dries. And yeah, goes I'm also worried about the white stuff, because I'm also getting that, like, spacey... Look. Also, this paint is cool. This, <laughs> hey, it is okay. Craftversations is all about expressing your inner craft goddess. However, however she manifests, she, she may be, or he. I'm gonna please have some of that. I'm gonna try to do like a stripe up and down on Ooh. the inside. You mm-hmm. are so ambitious, and I <laughs> love it. This is not straight. Ambitious slash don't really care how it turns out. I'm really happy with my first. It looks good. And I'm now I'm like, dries. oh, wow, the decision to go total uniform was, like, a great decision. Well. Meanwhile. Well, <laughs> we shall see. I hope the white dries. It looks weird. So, yes, yeah, so we did score, and people seem to like that, and I'm really glad that you were game to work on that with me, and... I'm really happy with it. I am happy too. And we, we made a low budget sci fi, which is like what I wanted to do. Yeah. And um, it was, I'm pretty proud of us because we had very like limited <laughs> resources. Resources, experience. Yeah. Um, and it still turned out pretty, pretty damn well, I think. Yeah. Um, it looks really good. I feel like totally proud and okay to show it to people even though in my brain I'm like oh it shouldn't have been worded that way like I I should have done this I should have done that well we always have those things and ultimately I'm really really happy with how it turned out so Mm. same thanks everybody for watching it if you haven't watched it go watch more what is your like uh sort of dream like where ideally would you like to be in your career in the next few years um, if you have a... Yeah, so, I mean, I want to be a TV showrunner. Oh, yeah, nice. Which is, like, the the big buzzword job, I think, mm-hmm. for TV writing now. Mm-hmm. But, like, I want to write and produce TV mm-hmm. and eventually have my own show. But, like, way eventually. Sure. Not, like, even... I can't even begin to think about it now. But you kind of 
have to start moving up yeah, that exactly. ladder in some way. So my hope is that next year um, I get a TV job mm-hmm. as like a writer's PA or assistant or like script coordinator if I'm super lucky. I have friends who like bypassed the assistant stuff and went straight to script coordinator, um, which is a cool thing. And then hopefully after a few years of, of working up the TV ladder, I'll get to be a writer on one yeah. Yeah. That would and be that, rad. And then 10 or 15 years later, maybe get my own show. I think that so. is totally within the realm of possibility for you, Miss Brogan. And then buy a house and then yeah. and then die. I don't know what comes <laughs> next. I so. hope you get to buy it. I mean, if you really want to buy a house before you die. Mm-hmm. My plan is... I mean, I might leave it till after. <laughs> I mean, hey. McMansion. <laughs> Way up in the sky. Oh, yeah, right. Well, yeah, there you go. I have to go to Hobbiton before I die. That's on my list Mm. to do, my to-do list. Is that, like, in New Zealand? That is in New Zealand, yes. I think the actual one. I touched. Is it bad to touch Mod Podge? I did it. I touched it with my fingers. (laughs) You're going to get Mod Podge cancer. (laughs) (laughs) One time I did get super glue all over my hands, and it was terrible they let terrible. children use this so i don't think it's oh yeah okay good like don't recommend getting super glue on your fingers it's pretty awful <laughs> how did you get it off i it took like 20 minutes of just pure scrubbing oh. and i didn't get all of it off but it eventually all came off i'm i'm afraid of like super glue yeah it's terrifying <laughs> i'm like why the warnings Who needs are real glue that real i was trying to glue a, glue a never mug that, that had broken and I did it, but I got glue everywhere first. Well, that's all very cool and exciting. And, well, you're not, you're the first, like, non actor writer that I've had on the show. Sean and Sinead Prasad also write, but they are also actors. I have no desire to ever act, ever. Well, you don't have to. <laughs> and you're a very good writer, so. That's my, not my goal, but, like, just part of what I want from life is not. Not acting? Not acting. Great. It, it's it's such a hard job. It is very hard. Like, it's a really hard job, the thing that she does. Like, <laughs> really you. hard. I try in my efforts to, like, let people know how hard it is. Not that I didn't know, I, but you just can't know. I mean... And people talk about it being hard in a way that I think doesn't really do, like, the kind of hard that it is justice. Yeah, I think that's fair. Because um, I think a lot of people see it as, like... Oh, people are going to be really mean to you, so you have to have a thick skin, which is true, but, like, it's not a glamorous life, and you're just, like, constantly working for nothing. Yes. And, like, even, like, people are like, oh, yeah, but then you get paid a lot. It's like, well, no. (laughs) Like, the paycheck on a job will be really big because it's, like, the only only job for a long time. Anyway, this is me being, like... Thanks, Taylor. Yeah, no. Taylor, the actor's advocate. It's way too difficult of a job for me to ever (laughs) want to... I mean, I want to do, like, something that's also hard, but, like... Something yes, that I feel like I have control. Not easy. I mean, obviously, I would. I'm not pursuing a career in writing because I would not be good at that. But, um, but I feel like choice. I have control over like, I can always work more if I want to. Right. Um, yeah. I feel like for you, the struggle is like I can't even work. That is true. That is one of the most difficult things about acting is that you are always dependent on outside factors to do your art. And that can be really frustrating yeah. because creative types like to be working. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm so like fortunate that like you approached me and were like, "Hey, let's let's make something." Because I I just want to like be productive and like have things get made. Yeah. And be good. Well, um, I was fortunate that you were down. Look at that. Yeah. Hey. So thanks. And I think hopefully we will be collaborating on more things in the future. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm into that. Especially yeah. if I hit my Patreon goal. Go support me <laughs> at patreon.com slash mkwilds. So this one I'm doing on the outside. The other one I did on the inside. I like this pink glitter. We have a lot of great questions from people on the interwebs. People! People! I may do more like this. I like the way this um, looks. How is it going over there? You may find with this craft that it 
gets really difficult to do the evenness at around the top of it. Yes, I found that as well. So just FYI. Good, good things to know. I don't know. We'll see how this guy goes. Yeah, we'll see how it turns out. I'm excited this about it. I think this one will be good. Good. I kind of want to do like also a little like around the top. Maybe mm. Um, although I have to You're really good tie. at this. You're, I am? you're so crafty. Oh I'm my not. gosh. No, that looks amazing. Well, it's I, it's actually easier on the outside, I think, than on mm. the inside. David Cater wants to know if you could write for any active TV show right now, what would it be? Ooh. And he thinks he knows the answer. Um worth asking. I don't think he does know the answer. No. Um there are a couple. I would say like I Zombie. Yeah. For sure. Agent Carter. Oh yeah. And Unreal. Because I I mean I like like strong female character obviously but like i like writing really unlikable women Uh or like really like tenacious women who are like good at their jobs um and i feel like those three shows are all good examples of that unreal is really good everybody's talking about it it's a great show well, I gotta check I very that out. much like it. I gotta check that ish out. So the okay, great, great answer. Wait, Unreal, I Zombie, and what was the other one? Agent Carter. Oh yeah, duh. Mm-hmm. I haven't watched that. I need. Also, to. like the Agent Carter writers' room just seems really cool, which is like a big consideration. Sure. But yeah, those are my my picks. Working with cool people is important. Yeah, it makes work more fun. Yeah. Perry is sort of loosely inspired by. The idea um, of Perdita. Yeah. Being lost, yes. I'm um, speak for you. 